Hello and welcome to this Accomplished Beginners Blender tutorial number 19. In this tutorial we will start to explore the subject of um, particle systems. And what better than to start to blow something up. Here we have the traditional cube and uh, there are modifiers for explosion and it requires that you have a particle field. So I will start with creating a particle field. So the cube is selected and I choose particles here in the properties panel and I press the plus sign to add a particle system. And I just leave it uh, at default and I will keep the physics Newtonian and I'll make a crucial change here. The field weights, I will lower the gravity to zero. And then I'll activate the force field settings. And I'll use a force, which is a spherical force field. And then we can um, go to edit mode and subdivide this cube, this W, and subdivide only twice. And then we'll add the explosion modifier, add modifier, explode. And we can uh, play this. Let's go down to the timeline and play it. Excuse me, we have to change back to object mode. And here you can see how it's starting to pick this thing apart. And this is a pretty tame explosion in my book. You can see it's almost like it's disintegrating this cube and rebuilding it just a little bit further. But it's at least doing it in, so to speak, a 360 degree pattern. So let's make this thing kick a little bit better. And that's done here. All you need to do is just add the self effect. Let's back up to the start and then you can see how it starts to pick apart this, this mesh. And you can also see that it um, does that according to how the mesh is subdivided. So let's go back to um, let's go back to on edit mode and uh, subdivide this a little bit more so we get a real dense mesh there maybe once more that's good and then let's do it again and you can see that uh, there's more the more pieces to, to the puzzle so to speak and then we'll just also cut the edges like this. Then the shrapnel or the pieces that come off will be more shrapnel like. So this way. As you can see here, you can see that the pieces are not quite entirely rectangular or squarish. They're a little bit more torn up. And Explosions are, to make a believable explosion takes quite a bit of tweaking and you'll have to work with it in, in a lot of ways. This, as I said, this is just an introduction to particle systems and I'm using the explosion modifier just because it's um, quickly, you get, you quickly get feedback on how the particle system is ex uh, behaving. Uh, and the, really the, the thing that I would like to do is to go into the particle system here and change its timing a little bit. Let's say we start it at um, 20. That's the 20th frame. And we'll just run it for, for another 20 frames, so like 40 here. And we can keep the lifetime to 50. 
and the amount is the amount of particles. We have a thousand, and th in this case, that's sufficient. We'll just keep it at that. And now we'll do this again and play. And you can see how we've only played to 32. And you can see how this thing is coming apart pretty quickly. And now it's all completely disintegrated. And that's under a second. So why, why that is, is, why I want to show that is just the fact that if you want to use it as an explosion effect, then you might have to add a lot of <clears throat> light or maybe smoke or other effects. But this way at least the actual explosion becomes more believable. Uh, there are other things such as dampening and other uh, forces that you might want to apply to this. We'll get more into that a little bit in another later tutorial. But as I said, this is just an introduction to how you can use particle systems and, and in fact uh, particle systems do not have to explode things of course uh, they can be used for many other things such as growing things that then then you're not using an emitter but a hair type and here you can see how that what that looks in this particular case and it's since I didn't plan this this is not what I would like to make but they're just different types of systems and there's also uh, you can also make fluids and you can uh, use what's called voids um, which are um, school or flock type behavior systems particle systems is a large field of knowledge and uh, just like lighting is and I just wanted to take the opportunity to show this. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. And uh, I'll come back with other ones later on. And uh, till then, happy blending. Thank you and uh, have a good evening.